So yeah, we're gonna still have some fun in the snow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As soon as the show is over. But yeah, we've had a lot of snow out mm -hmm. there today and we can get some good, but also we did have a lot of bad today. A lot of power outages, some of the roads, especially some of those secondary roads, uh, not great conditions out there today. Here are some of our snowfall reports. Now snow is still falling throughout most of the state, so these are not our final reports. These are as of 4 p.m. Shapley was the highest that I could find at 21 and a half inches. A lot of snow there, especially areas away from the coast is where we're going to be seeing the most amounts of snow, but it's been a very sharp gradient really within just a few miles of the ocean. Got a lot of kind of disparities in the snowfall amounts there. A little bit less so getting down to areas like Kennebunk and Gardner, but a lot of snow here and snow is still going to be falling for much of the day, so we're still going to have to add a couple inches tacked on to even these snowfall totals, which are already very high. So here's what our radar looks like right now. Most of the state seeing snow at this point. We do have a dry slot moving into areas in southern York County, so they're going to take a quick break from the snowfall, but unfortunately the precipitation is not done yet. This area of low pressure right now, the center of it is right off of the edge of the coast here along New England which means this system is going to sit here for a little while and which is going to continue to feed more moisture into this system. So once we get into tomorrow, the precipitation will become more scattered, but it's not going to exit our area really until we get into the weekend. Now, one of our big items here has been the wind. That's what's been causing a lot of the power outages and the down trees still gusting to about 35 miles per hour in areas, especially in eastern Maine and along the coastline. But at this point, the wind is going to start to calm down as we get later into tonight and into the weekend. So that's good. Allow some crews to get out there and start restoring power. We do have this winter storm warning and for almost the entire state, all of these areas here shaded and pink. And this winter storm warning is in effect until tonight at 8 p.m. So what we're looking at for tonight, again, like I said, this snow is going to continue. It is going to push some of those heavier bands into areas in northern Maine and back into the mountains. It looks like we'll be able to push some mixed precipitation along the immediate coastline, particularly through the mid coast and down east Maine. So could see some mixing with sleet and rain in these areas, but still heavy snow pushing into areas in western Maine and back into New Hampshire. Now, once we go into Friday, that's where we're going to kind of get some more of that mixed precipitation moving into down east Maine. It's also going to be more scattered throughout the day, especially once we get into Friday afternoon. But I'm going to keep saying it because it's true. This system is going to linger, so it's going to keep throwing moisture back into the state. So scattered rain and snow showers throughout the day on Friday. We aren't expecting additional accumulations much more than a few inches with this system here because our temperatures are going to start getting into the mid to upper 40s. It becomes very difficult to accumulate snow at temperatures like that. Once we get into Friday, mostly cloudy skies, a little bit more snow hanging out there in eastern Maine. Once again, those showers continue throughout the day Saturday and it really takes until Sunday for us to finally start to dry out and we'll start to lose some of that cloud cover as well. So once we get into tonight, we are going to start to kind of diminish those high wind speeds. So once we get into the next few hours, wind speeds about 30 to 35 miles an hour, continuing to lessen as we get overnight, especially in areas in western Maine as this system continues to pull more eastward. And then it's still going to remain breezy both Friday and Saturday, but it's at the point where this wind isn't going to be damaging anymore. So that's going to allow some crews to get out there and will allow you to kind of clean up your backyard a little bit easier too. And then once we get into Sunday and Monday, that's that's when things really calm down once this system has completely pulled out of our area. So marine forecast we got that gale warning and that's in effect until Friday at 1 a.m. because we're still going to be dealing with those gusty winds offshore a little bit as well as those higher seas. So in terms of our seven day forecast, this system is going to dominate the rest of the week because it's just going to be able to linger offshore and our temperatures are kind of going to be a little bit too high for us to accumulate much more precipitation. So really getting into tonight is where we're going to see the rest of that accumulation. But I think Brian and Amanda that we should end this forecast on a positive note that eclipse forecast for the past few days has been looking fantastic and it will continue to do so. Mostly sunny skies, temps in the mid to upper 50s. Can't light, be beat. light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, exactly. Mother Nature is giving us a gift <laughs> after this. Dana, thank you.